Hello everyone, and welcome back to another GenSpace tutorial. Today, I'm going to be resolving the well-known stylus issue all new 3DS owners will face. It's when the stylus sticks out of the bottom of the system during play. It's not good to keep it like this because it could potentially fall out and get lost, and no one wants that. So that's why I'm going to show you this tutorial today. This fix will work for the new 3DS and the new 3DS XL, but I'm not really sure about the new 2DS XL. And this fix will also not require you to take apart your 3DS completely. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is flip your 3DS over so you can see the two screws holding the back plate on. I don't have these because they broke off, but you should have them. Unscrew those and pop off the panel and be careful because it's fragile. Next, take out your game card and stylus. You do not need to remove the battery. The next thing you do is grab some kind of tape. Make sure it's not too thick or too thin. I found transparent office tape to work perfect for this, but you can also use packing tape as well. But office tape is easier to remove later. Peel off a strip that's about one and a half inches long and apply it just like you see in the video. Once you do this, take your stylus and press down with light to medium pressure to push the tape into the hole. Make sure the right side of the tape is stuck down and the left side is barely touching the black part and the battery. Once the tape is in the hole, insert the stylus and move it back and forth to adhere the tape to the 3DS. After that is done, repeat the process again, but this is optional. It really just depends on how thick or thin your tape is. If your 3DS stylus doesn't stick out with the shake, then most likely you're good. But I like a tighter feel, so I'm doing it again. Okay, so that is good for me, but it all depends on the thickness of your tape for how many strips you need. Okay, now you can put the back plate on and put your game card and stylus back in. To me, this is the most effective and easiest way to fix the stylus issue, but if you have any other better way, just comment down below. Anyways guys, thanks for watching.